Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce an IT tools web application, which you can create it for yourself if you have your own VPS or you don't even need to have a VPS. We can use some online web application app to deploy it and free hosting in the cloud and using your own domain to access to it. What is IT tools is a Web application created by Quarantine Thomas said in GitHub repository IT tools free to use and it has 10 categories, includes more than 80 different tools which can help your IT daily work, make it more effective, efficient and more productive. It's completely free. Some of them are using it often, such as IP v4 subnet calculator, generate ASCII R text, compare the text. There's so many useful tools, generate QR code, URL parser, XML to JSON, TOML to JSON, those conversion and encryption, decryption, lots of lots of tools which I think everyone should have it if you are working in IT. But for now, I don't want to go into deep what are those tools. I want to focus on how you can create your own. You don't have to create one for yourself. You also can use it-tools.tag with sample site created by the author. You can use it for free. But for myself, I prefer to create one under my own domain and use it. Now let's jump into it to create one. The installation command is super easy and simple by using a Docker. So author of this tool already gave you a sample command which we can use it. If you can access Docker Hub, you can use this image. If you can get GitHub packages, you can use in this one as well. It's the same. You also can convert it to Docker Compose from a development category. You will find out the list Docker run to Docker Compose Converter, which is uh, one tool I use a lot. So once you paste in Docker run command, it will automatically convert to the Docker Compose command, which you can put into your Docker environment to run. For demo purpose, we were just using this Docker run command. As I mentioned in other videos, I like to use play with Docker to test for it. So that's a favorite Docker testing platform to play with it. What do you need to do is Control shift v to paste command in and just enter. Then in one minute, this website is going to be up and running on the default port 8080. You can open it right away. You will see this website exactly same as the one you will see from the author's website. You even can compare the version the same inversion. So that's how easy you can have it. So you can test it with Docker Playground. You can play like four hours before you can put it into your own VPS to run. It. If you like to try your project for a couple of days and you don't want to use play with Docker, which only gave you three hours to play with it, then you may want to use code sandbox.io to try it. By default, it gave you 400 credit, which is good for 40 hours to run. Uh, you do need a sign in. So you can use your GitHub or Google account, Apple account to sign in. I do have my own account. Once you sign in, you can create your own project. So here you can see the free tier plan or up to 40 hours for you to use and you can upgrade to pro plan 12 hours which will get 100 hours 
anyway for our testing we just want want to use those 40 hours credit so you create your own project there's a docker environment gave a name so for this one we use it for it tools you choose your vm size and you will create the environment with all docker io docker compose all those components being installed in a couple seconds environment is going to be ready you will be able to access your terminal here it will not be read only anymore if you don't register your account the terminal is going to be read only first play with it we just paste our command in docker run dash d command right away it is ready it's much faster than play with docker you can preview on the port 8080 to see how it looks like this is the uil you should be able to paste it as well so perfect that's how you can run your it tools in test environment from another website not only from play with stalker now you have code sandbox to io this website to test it as well but remember it you only have 40 hours so once you're done testing just close it delete the project you deployed else your credit gonna be run out very soon only 40 hours well if you want to deploy it permanently and you don't want to use your own vps if you have your own vps that's simple just throw it into your docking environment and then give it domain and let it run i don't want to cover that since i already have other videos cover that in other projects but uh, for this it tools there's a better way to run it which i found using virtual this website to deploy it there's a hobby plan which doesn't charge you anything and you can use your own domain and it's easy to deploy just a couple of clicks as long as you fork the project the hobby plan is very generous here actually um, there's a lot of free services you can use you can use 50 domains you can have 100 deployment so it's a free tier no billing cycle if you exceed your usage limit then you have to wait until 30 days pass anyway so it's much better comparing using your own vps since it's stable and uh, for a small website small project it's more than enough so i'm gonna deploy it into reversal uh, the first thing of course you want to fork this project into your own website uh, i already did that i did a 51 sec it dash tools i already forked it here so once you have that forked then you can create your virtual account you can log in with your github account basically um then you can create your own project from there so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna build something and import it it tools so just import so configure the project it tools nothing need to change and deploy wait a couple of minutes and then the deployment can be done and then we can use versus building subdomain to access to it after that we're gonna add our custom domains to it and then we, in from there we can use our own domain to visit this it dash tools website i will be back once it's completed deployment about two minutes the whole deployment is gonna be completed you should be able to get this congratulations page and uh, there's a preview of your new project you can continue to dashboard or you can do add your own domain nodes so they randomly assign uh, this subdomain so you can access to it Just visiting it, 
it should be same as you look from the author's website, the version 2024.5.13, that's the version, should be the same version as we see from here. That's perfect. So we deploy it. Now we have our own IT tools website in the cloud running 24 by 7, 5, 3, 6, 5 days. Our next step is going to add our own domain to it. So we don't want to only use this domain. We also want to use our own domain for it. So in that case, we're going to follow the step, add the domain. So you see the domains here. So in the domains here, we're going to add the custom domain tools.51sec.org. So that's why I'm going to add it in here. So then we're going to add a scene in the code. So this is something we're going to add it in. So I'm using Cloudflare to manage my domain DNS record. Since I don't have tools, so I'm going to add CNAME record here. I will call it tools, cname.wso-dns.com, save. Previously, I already add Notion in here as well. So today, I just added tools. In the code here. Perfect. After that, let's go back and it's refreshing. Now it's generating SSL certificate for this domain. Let's wait this time. It shouldn't take more than two minutes. At the same time, you also can modify the subdomain here. So if you don't like IT tools, go to seven. You can try to see if this. Now we can add it in. Let's put the 51 sec at the end. That shouldn't be used by anyone else. So you can customize this subdomain. Now SSL certificate is generated. We can try to access tools.51sec.org this website. right away we have it so that's all for this video i'm gonna show it to you today about how to create your own handy tools website even you are not developers as an it worker this website is still helpful hope you enjoyed it if you found this video has some useful information give me a thumb up if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do that will give me a great support Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.